Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, July 31st. Today's video is brought to you in four parts. The deck. Oh, that's the dog. She's over in the pen. She's locked up because I'm going to be going down to Connecticut. Because that's where I grew up, and I gotta go visit my dad. I'm squinting because there's a lot of sun glare. And it kind of hurts my eyes a little bit, but it's alright. What is exciting from the deck is the view. This is one of the things I love about Vermont, is everywhere is so beautiful. Um, Steve, you showed us the, the nice area that you're in. Let me show you the nice area I'm in. I don't know how much of that you can see because of the sun glare. But we can see the whole valley from up here. So yeah, I mean, this is this is the deck. So I'm on the road, uh, heading down to Connecticut. I just pulled over into a uh, quick stop area to uh, start the video. Then I talked about how I like my coffee black, and then I saw a cop. That's a cop. I'm here, sitting in my basement at my dad's house in Connecticut. I am, in fact, in Danbury. It's night. It's now quarter to ten at night. Trying out using a full-size uh, flat-screen TV as a second display on my MacBook Pro. Uh, it's it's all right. I'm not gonna lie. The resolution is not as good as I would have expected. This is the debate that me and my dad have been having: was whether or not 1080p is good enough to use it as a computer screen. He says that it won't be high enough resolution to do text on. I thought, nah, that's that's not true because like uh, IMAX, a 30-inch display. Then I went to the Apple store at the Danbury Mall and found out that IMAX with 30-inch display and the Cinema HD 30-inch display actually have twice the resolution of 1080p, the larger number being the horizontal, or smaller being the vertical. I guess I, I was I was wrong, <laughs> much as it pains me to say. I'm not saying you can't use a 1080p display as a computer monitor. And at 32 inches, those pixels aren't going to be spread quite as far as on this one. I might be able to talk them into letting me try it out at Best Buy or something. Be like, hey, I've got my laptop here, and this is what I want to do with it. Can I plug it in and see if it, it sucks? They might say, sure, give it a try. Or they might say, no, our lawyers won't let us. Or they might say, no, we don't want you to break it because you're just a customer and we don't trust you. But I'm doing other stuff tonight. Uh, me and my friend Caitlin already went out to... Uh, where did we go? Crap, I'm gonna have to ask her and find out. Played a game of chess. I like chess. I'm not great at it, but I like it. She's very good at chess and like studies it and stuff. And we actually stalemated. I'm wearing one of my favorite shirts. Uh, Caitlin commented on this when she saw me. She said, you always wear that shirt when you see me. Why is that? The reason's pretty simple. Um, I pretty much pack the same couple t-shirts whenever I go on a trip because they're my favorite shirts. It's not because I don't own many shirts. I own many shirts. In fact, I really need to get rid of some t-shirts because I have so many. I have like five drawers filled with t-shirts. That is way too many. The shirt that I'm currently wearing uh, says Triumph on it. Triumph is the brand of motorcycle that I get to ride. I don't own one, but my dad owns one. And whenever I come down here, I get to ride it. Recently, he became unable to ride because we went for a ride on my last visit, and five minutes in, somebody cut across in front of him, and he got into a really bad accident. He's currently got a broken wrist. Generally, he's okay, but sadly, the bike is not. And I will show you the bike. It was a very expensive bike when it was new. It's worth more now. It's 12 years old, mint condition, Honda VFR, uh, less than a thousand miles on it. It's like literally brand new, and it's done for, so, oh well. But it's okay, because uh, he actually has another motorcycle besides the Triumph and besides the Honda VFR. He also has a Honda ST1300, great touring bike. Uh, I've ridden on it. It's very big and bulky, and it's not a lot of fun at slow speeds. But when you're on the highway cruising around and stuff, it's really good. But when I got down here, I got another surprise. Um, my dad's girlfriend, Lucy, uh, has gotten another motorcycle. So, including the broken one that may get fixed or may get sold for parts or just get taken away by the insurance company, we have four motorcycles for a house that, at the most has three people in it. But I'm okay with that. I, I like to go riding. 
And it's really cool that uh, Lucy's gotten this new motorcycle because uh, she used to ride a lot with us. She has arthritis in her fingers and the vibrations from the motorcycle's engine make her hands hurt and she can't ride because of that. But her new bike is not actually a bike. It's a Mo Scooter, I think is what it got called. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. It's what my dad called it. I think it's a funny term, so I'm probably going to use it. Mo Scooter, you like it? It's about as powerful as a small motorcycle, but it looks like an oversized scooter. It's really long because it's got a trunk on it underneath the passenger seat and you can, you know, like go grocery shopping with it. Shirt change. It's another day. So I was pleasantly surprised uh, that my fellow vloggers on this channel actually got videos up. I didn't expect that to happen for quite some time, but there they are for everyone to enjoy. So and they've all used their real names, and they've all used my name, so the aliases thing is, is over. That's good. Uh, still looking for a name for the general group other than the other guys. Apparently, my uh, fellow vloggers on this channel really need some help on learning how to blog. Uh, Steve, great job, but I feel like picking a screenshot of someone other than you when it's your first video was probably not the best idea. You definitely showed me up on the video editing with your cool transitions. I was wondering, I heard a little creaking in the background while you were filming. Uh, were you filming that with your MacBook? I, I feel like that's not really necessary. You've got an iPhone. Why aren't you filming with that? I'm sure iMovie would love it. I'm going to do some filming with my cell phone, and it's not even very good. But I wouldn't carry your MacBook around, especially at camp. It seems like a bad idea. Mike. You don't need to say um and like and so quite so much. And it'd probably be in your best interest to script something out before you start filming. Rich, I have one piece of advice for you. Button your shirt. So just by chance, you've gotten to see like three or four different locales in my house here in Danbury. And uh, the trip down and my deck back home. So you've gotten a pretty good tour of my life. Interesting thing about my life in Danbury here is uh, when I was little, my parents got divorced like happens to many people in the world today. Uh, interesting thing in my case, though, I was the first documented case in the state of Connecticut to have an exact 50-50 joint custody arrangement. I spent half the time with one parent, half the time with the other. It's really important to do that because a lot of times what happens is, is parents, when they get a divorce, very mad at each other and they use the kid as a weapon to get back at each other for whatever perceived wrongs there are. And it's really not okay to use a child as a weapon. It really messes them up. I gotta go edit video now because I have way too many. I will talk to you guys another day. See ya! We're gonna film the gardens because they're so pretty. Say hi Lucy. Hi. Why should I...